Hello again, everybody. It's Mr. Montgomery, and today we need to make sure we have our Robot Turtle Book out, just like every other day. If you don't have your Robot Turtle Book, please go get it. And uh, if you do have your Robot Turtle Book, make sure it's open to page 465. This is the page we, will, we are going to start off on today. For lesson number four, now we're working in unit 11 now, where we have been subtracting tens, uh, and we're working with some big numbers here. So if you have your book and the video is still playing, well, we're going to keep on rolling. And let's see what they have us doing today. So it says, Mia has 70 stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that. Jack has 30 stickers, and they want to know how many more stickers does Mia have than Jake. Now, the word than, it's very important. That always means we're going to subtract. So, if you look down here, they have a little addition number sentence set up with blanks and a subtraction one. And if I just said that this word then means to subtract, which one do you think we should set up? We should set up this one with a subtraction sign first. So how will we set it up? What number goes first? The big 70 or the little 30? Well, when we write a subtraction sentence, we have to make sure that big number goes first. Because we cannot take away from a little baby number. So the 70 goes first because that's the biggest one. And then 30 comes next. Now what they really want us to understand for this lesson is that we can use an addition number sentence to help us solve a subtraction number sentence. And this is going to be a throwback, guys. This is going to be, I'm going to mention something from months ago, long, long time ago. Do you guys remember related facts? You guys remember that? Related facts means that we can use any addition or subtraction sentence to solve the other one. So let's, uh, let's do a really quick example where maybe it was 5 minus 3 equals something, right? And then we had 3 plus blank equals something. Well, equals 5. And then we would just count the jumps on the number line, right? To see how many jumps it took to get to 5 from 3. And then we just fill in the number line. And we go 1, 2. So 3 plus 2 equals 5. And now since they all have the same numbers in their number sentences, we now know that 5 minus 3 equals 2. Alright? That was from quite a while ago. But we're going to be using that same idea to solve these big number number sentences. And it's not going to be as crazy as you think. I promise. So how we could set up this uh, addition sentence is, well, we know the total. We know the whole number, which is 70. So that goes on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, all by itself, because it is the total. So when we add, the total goes at the end. Don't forget that. And our 30, that is a part. So the part can go over here in front of the plus sign. And now we just need to know what number we can add to 30 to get to 70. And guess what? When we figure that out, we're just going to move it on over here, and it will be the same answer. Same number for both of these problems would be the correct answer. Okay, so let's make our number line. Ready? Because we know that subtraction can be a little tricky. And so we're going to start at 30. This is how we're going to start our number sentence. We're just going to use the two numbers here to make our number sentence. We start at 30. And then our very last number is going to be 70. Ooh. Sorry about that. My little computer pen went a little crazy. 
this is how we set this is how we're going to set up every time so the smallest number over here where the one would be and the largest number over here where our big numbers would normally be right because we start from zero and go all the way to 100 if we wanted to and then we're just going to fill in the numbers okay and we're going to count by tens so at what's 10 more than 30 and we're just changing the tens place by one so it goes to 40 then to 50 and then 60 if you if you need to start all the way from 10 to kind of just get in the rhythm of things, that's fine. You say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. All right, and now we have our whole number line done. First step done. Okay, next, we're just going to count the jumps from 30 to 70. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. So we're not distracted by that little side work we did. Okay, so we're just going to count by tens. Uh, we can. I'll show you guys two different ways again, like I always do. Let's do the first one, counting by tens. So every time we jump, we're going to count by ten. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty. So we stop. We can't. We Count it all the way to 40 with our jumps. Just remember, every time we're jumping, it's like saying plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, and then plus 10 again, right? So that's one way you can think about it. One way I like to do it is to just count the jumps 1, 2, 3, 4. That is four tens. What big number does four tens make? Of course it makes 40. And that's it. And then that is our answer for this other problem over here. So now we know, because they are related facts. 70 minus 30 equals 40. Okay? So you can use this method. So if this is for the friends that subtraction is just really, really difficult, Maybe they're having a super hard time. We can now just put a uh, the whole number and a part in their correct spots in a in a addition sentence, and then solve like we're just adding. And then when we find the missing number, that is the answer for when we subtract. Okay, so let's go into the next page. We're going to do some practice ones. We'll do like a practice one together again, and then we will. Have, do one on our own to see how we do and maybe we'll do one more after that okay so let's do some practice problems All right so now we're on page 466 so four six six right a little bit bigger <clears throat> in case you couldn't see it very well remember it's just one turn one page and you should be there okay and I erased number one so we can kind of do it together to see what on earth they're doing and have a better understanding of this. So let's look at number one together. So the first thing we want to do, because they already did the hard work for us, they already set everything up. So they want us to figure out what uh, 80 minus 40 is. So since 80 is our total, that went at the end of the addition sentence, and 40 is the part, so that goes at the beginning. All right? And just how you see the numbers here in the addition sentence is how we're going to set the, up the numbers for our number line. So we start with 40 on the small end and then 80 at the big end. And then we're just counting on by tens to fill in the gaps. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then we have 80. And now that's all filled. That's probably like one of the toughest parts. That's it. And now all we're going to do next is I like to put my little dots where I'm going to start and where I'm going to end. Okay? So I know when to stop. And all we're going to do is count the jumps. Now, let's we can count them by 10 in case that's easier for some friends. So let's count by 10s until we reach the next red dot. So 10, 20, 30, 
40. So now we know that 40 plus 40 equals 80. And that also is our answer for this subtraction sentence. If we took 40 away from 80, the answer has to be 40. And if you remember from a while ago, this is called a doubles fact. So you have the number 40 twice. It's doubled. So fun little tidbit, little flashback, little throwback from way back when down memory, memory lane. Doesn't hurt to refresh ourselves on that. Uh, but yeah, and then that's it. Another way you could think about it is just count the jumps by one. One, two, three, four, and these are all tens. So four tens makes 40, and that's your answer. Count it whichever way is easiest for you, okay? I'm just throwing out two different ways in case there are some uh, very quick thinkers that need a nice fast way to get through it. Okay, so for number two, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to start off doing the number line for you, but then I want you to solve it on your own. So for our number line, what number goes at the small end? Because we are trying to solve 90 minus 30. 90 minus 30. So which number is going to go at the small end? 30. And then which number goes at the big end? Well, there should only be one number left. So it is 90. And then we're just going to count by tens and fill in the gaps. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, gosh. Uh, my pen is going crazy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. 60. 70 and 80 and then finally we have 90 right here at the very end okay so we filled it in now what I want you to do is solve using this number line what can we add to 30 to get to 90 so if you're a little not unsure of yourself just look at what we did up here Use this top one to uh, help guide you through the through number two. All right, if you are not done, pause the video, hit the space bar, take your time. If you are done, Let's check your work and see if you are right on the money with your answer. So for uh, figuring this out, we can use the addition to help us. So I put a little dot at 30. And that's my starting point. And I, put, I like to put a little dot at 90 because that's where I, I'm going to stop. And we're going to count the jumps. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So now we know that 30 plus 60 is 90. So if we were to take 30 away from 90, we would be left with this number. That's why it is the answer. That's why it's a related fact. So since that was the answer for the top one, it is also the answer for this bottom number sentence. All right, let's just do one more together. We'll do number three together on the next page, and then we will stop and then do our independent work after that. So let's go ahead, turn the page, and uh, try number three on your own. All right, here we are. So for number three, uh, the two number senses, they, well, okay. Let's start over. The main number sense we're trying to solve is 60 minus 20. And maybe that is a little too crazy, okay? Maybe you're thinking, well, that's kind of tough. But we can figure out the addition sentence to help give us the answer, okay? So, 20, what can we add to 20 to get 60? So, I'm not going to set up the number line this time. I'll give you guys a few extra moments. Set up the number line the best you can, and then try to solve this on your own. This time, I'm not doing any of the steps.
All right, so if you are still working on this, that is totally fine. Pause the video, take your time with this, do not rush. When we rush with math, that's when we tend to make a lot of mistakes. So don't rush. But if you are done, let's go through this together and check your work. Okay? So what I like to do uh, to set up, help set up my number line is I look at the addition sentence, 20. It's going to go on the small side. Because that's it's on the small side of the uh, addition sentence, right? It's not the total. And the total goes on the far side. And then we're just going to fill in the gaps. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, I could have spaced them out a little more. It's okay. If it's not perfect, it's all right. And then all we're going to do is, I again, I like to make my little dots where I'm going to start and end. And I'm just going to count the jumps. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 20 plus 40 will equal 60. And since that's the answer here, it must be the answer over here because they are related facts. Okay, guys, and then that's it. That's all there is to it. If you're still not sure, make sure you ask your teacher. Let them know that you're still unsure about how to solve these problems. I know sometimes things can feel a little confusing. Uh, but uh, just make sure you let your teacher know. So if you're not in my room, this is going to be our stopping point. If you are in my class, we're going to go on to our independent work next. All right, so for our independent work today, of course, click on the man in the blue box, go to classwork, and I have two assignments set up just for you, where the first one's going to be our quick check. It's going to be a few questions on Savas' website, right? And then we have our extra practice, which is on IXL. Okay, so do both of those. And then if you finish both of those early and you still have time, you can, of course, go on Pink Cat and get a little extra practice in. All right, so I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you're a little confused about anything, please make sure that you let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.